Hi everyone, just uh, just been doing some drawings from Draw the Marvel Way issue 2 all about how to draw Wolverine, it's really great, nice step by step tutorial on drawing a classic uh, Wolverine look, the only problem is uh, you only get to draw uh, Wolverine with his mask on, everybody loves Wolverine without his mask, he's, he's f got a face that's full of character and so I just thought I'd do a quick uh, tutorial on how to draw Wolverine without his mask. Here, first of all, I've got a basic template of a of a superhero's male face. As you, uh, you might have seen in episode one of Draw the Marvel Way, we had Captain America. It's exactly the same method of drawing, but without the hair or without the mask that he has. So, first off, you're going to start off drawing Wolverine. What the first thing you're going to need is his um, his sideburns now these sideburns follow this uh his cheekbones down to uh round down to the base of his jawline so you just rub out rub out his chin there and then you have a sort of rather characterful mark there and uh you worry about the, the fine detailing there but basically that's where the hair is going to go okay same on the other side just have his um facial hair cutting in, do it slightly jagged obviously and uh, tap the lines there and you think about later on you'll be blocking in some of this in black and uh, keeping some of it white for highlights okay also for his hairline uh, Wolverine's hairline is very distinctive and it's uh, his it's uh, his temples come in a lot more than your average character and that's because uh, Showing the temple slightly more furry makes him appear more animalistic, and he's also got a, a slight widow's peak, which uh, quite illustrates uh, that he's uh, older than your average character. And that, and of course, everybody knows Wolverine's hair replicates the uh, the shape of his cowl, and that it it comes up in these awesome sort of wild man. Uh, swirls there and just trying to get those in and uh, you know lots of artists go really over the top and uh, it all depends on how you want to uh, interpret Wolverine um, for the time being I'm just going to go for a slightly more subdued Wolverine here and keep it on the down low you'd have some nice flowing locks there and a few scraggly bits and also because you don't necessarily want Wolverine's hair to look super stylized like he's just walked out of a salon he'd have a few wisps just coming off a bit stray there at the front possibly a nice flowing line there to uh, demonstrate the movement of his hair maybe some stray hairs on the top there another thing that's great about Wolverine is he has a uh, very furrowed brow, so to illustrate that you need to do some almost some, some tension lines coming off his brow like that, and uh, once again to illustrate his slightly more mature in years, you do some some wrinkles across that brow there. Okay. Uh, another thing about Wolverine, he's got um, slightly bushy eyebrows, once again highlighting that he's a slightly wild character, one of the few. Um, Marvel superheroes you actually see with um, fully illustrated eyebrows and not just a simple line okay, right there and uh, as we all know uh, when Wolverine scowls his eyes tend to narrow slightly so you'd, you'd need to Remove this, like the boyish charm that, uh, say, a Captain America figure might have. And Wolverine's got very dark eyes, you just want to do a slight highlight. And uh, there's quite a few lines coming off there to illustrate that he's, he's really intense and that um, he's not quite the happy camper. Just try this a little bit thinner. And it's, it's also uh, 
illustrates that he's not the all-around hero like some other characters that he, these these lines coming off his eyes mark him as someone who's more of an anti-hero okay coming onto his face now and uh see here i've got a nice placid facial expression on the lips there but um no one ever wants to see wolverine he's not just not ordinary models pout so you're gonna you know want to draw him with a scowl or a grimace like he's really angry with someone you know move that up and yeah have his upper jawline there maybe or upper teeth line a big one his lower jawline and he's, see he's not happy in fact, let's, um, let's try that again. Not quite happy with that. It's the brilliant beauty of uh, the uh, putty rubber that came with issue two, issue one. I beg your pardon. So you can just start again if you're not entirely happy with what you've created. So this time, instead of having a gap, I'm just gonna illustrate just the the edges of those teeth showing that he's uh, probably gritting his teeth and he's in a real feral mood and another way to illustrate that expression is to exaggerate yeah the lines around his face there okay and deepen that furrow below his lower lip okay and just finish it off with a few um, a few bits of stubble just around his face and then you have Wolverine without the mask okay and here we have uh, Wolverine that I've inked the uh, face off and you see once you put those black lines down, it really lifts off the page that much more. It's more defined and kind of more strikingly visual. Um, all I've done is I've inked it using a Sharpie that just had a thick end and a thin end. Uh, it's not the most professional of finishes, but it's just quite nice and quick and uh, good for people who are learning. You wanna just do lots and lots and lots of drawings and inking. So there you have it, Wolverine without his mask.